The finals has a significant out-of-game easter egg puzzle that's been going on since September 2022, but there's also some major game lore and in-game easter eggs starting to emerge, including one related to these roses in the practice range that might end up being bigger than Battlefield 4's Megalodon easter egg, so let's check them out. Now that we're almost a couple of months into season one of the finals, the easter egg hunters in the community are starting to unearth some curious findings. I covered some of those like the Swedish metal band Death by Rodent which you can hear in the alleyway behind the Glamora Casino on the Las Vegas map in my previous video about in-game easter eggs which is linked above. Here though I'll take you through the new video which you would have seen when you started up the game after it was updated with Hotfix 1.6.1 and some other things that have been found which to be fair don't make a lot of sense yet, including the roses in the practice range. Let's play the 40 second video and then I'll step through it. It's lights out in the arena. From all of us here at the finals, thanks for watching. And we're out. Time for an Osmoose Pro Juice. You actually drink those? Wouldn't want Sophia to hear you say that. Oh, she has enough on her plate with the recent hacks. Trust me. They're not hacks, June. They're glitches. Besides, Holto's not worried. They don't run the show. They just sponsor it. Someone put those messages in the system. Ah, uh, you worry too much. You keep telling yourself that, Scotty. The writing's on the wall. Literally. There's a lot in the video with many cryptic individual frames packed with numbers and images like this one which says seek the truth beyond the walls and the easter egg hunters in the discord community are currently scouring for clues in every frame but let's run through the easiest clue which is what's said by the game's commentators Scotty and June. We see this offline message meaning that the finals game show has just ended and then June says and we're out. Scotty then says it's time for an Ospoos produce and June clearly doesn't like Ospoos by saying you actually drink those. Then what Scotty says and the in-game captions actually differ slightly but he says wouldn't want Sophia to hear you say that. Who is Sophia you ask? Sophia Petronel is the CEO of the energy drink brand Ospoos which is the season zero sponsor for the game. The mall Petronel Plaza on the Seoul Arena is named after her. We learnt this during the closed alpha for the game from an on-screen tip that said Ospoos' CEO Sophia Petronel Tranel is online. Time to pop poor perform. I'll introduce you to some of the other in-game sponsors and their CEOs in a moment but I'll also suggest that if you want to learn more about the lore of the game that you also check out Spear's channel. He makes great videos about the lore and in-game architecture. I've linked his channel in the video description. Anyhow June goes on to say she has enough on her plate with the recent hacks trust me to which Scotty responds they're not hacks June, they're glitches. Now this is a possible nod or reference from the movie The Matrix where glitches in The Matrix which is also a virtual reality indicate that the machines that operate The Matrix are changing something in it. An example of this is when Keanu Reeves character Neo experiences deja vu when he sees the same black cat twice in a row. So we now know there are some glitches in the virtual reality system of the finals and this starts to dig us into the real juicy lore of the game. You might not have thought much about this while you're being deleted by two other teams as you try and defend your cash out but we know that contestants in the game show that is the finals compete in virtual arenas. Aspects of this are mentioned in the game for instance the season one sponsor Volpe is said to provide the virtual tech for the game. Volpe's CEO is Mackenzie Lapis. This immediately begs the question if the finals is a virtual reality. What is real? How do you define real? This is a question that's been raised before when we first learned that the finals was a virtual game show and it might be a question that takes a long time for us to answer. Scotty goes on Besides Holto's not worried. Holto is another season one sponsor and is an insurance company whose CEO is named Quimby Rutile. June then says they don't run the show they just sponsor it. Someone put those messages in the system. So Holto are just sponsors but who then does run the show? It's a top tier law question that's waiting to be answered. Scotty tries to play it down by saying ah you worry too much but June responds with you keep telling yourself that Scotty the writing's on the wall literally. 
And that's the end of the conversation. June's last comment about the writing on the wall could refer to this message which reads S lies and is literally behind a wall in the construction area in Monaco. Who is S though? Is it Sophia Patronel or does it mean the system lies or something else? The writings on the wall could also possibly refer to a message amongst the graffiti on the wall of the alleyway on the Las Vegas map. Whether it's either of these or referring to something else, I think we're starting to see a shift to what will be more and more Easter eggs and lore clues appearing in game. I'll update you about anything else we find in the lore video as soon as we make some progress on it, but let's run through some of the in-game Easter eggs that you can see or keep an eye out for. Appropriately Easter egg related, let's start with rabbits, specifically white rabbits, which for the movie buffs you might also recall making an appearance in the Matrix. Coincidences are something of a theme amongst the finals Easter eggs. This white rabbit emoji was found on the Vane building sign located on the exterior wall of the data center here, and then another on the side of the escalator in the Petronel Mall here. Embark Studios co-founder and chief content officer and executive producer for the finals, Rob Brunison, has told us there are five of these white rabbits in total on the sole map. Recently, Discord member Frosty found the third one on the back of a light on the roof of the apartments building located here. Because we've found the first three on the data center mall and apartments, we suspect the last two might be in the two hospital buildings, or one in the hospital and one on the construction building when the map is in that variant. If you want to help us find them, you can use the free cam when you're waiting to respawn to search for them, but just know that they only become visible when you're within about 15 meters or yards of them, so you have to look pretty carefully. Next, if you look up at the moon while you're in a night version of the Monaco Arena, you'll see that it has a flashing light on it. The flashes appear to come from a region of the moon very close to two named lunar craters, one named after Hipparchus, who was a Greek astronomer, geographer and mathematician born around 190 BC. He is considered the founder of trigonometry, but is most famous for his incidental discovery of the precession of equinoxes. Hipparchus is considered the greatest ancient astronomical observer, and by some the greatest overall astronomer of antiquity. With his solar and lunar theories and his trigonometry, he may have been the first to develop a reliable method to predict solar eclipses. Another crater near the flashes was named after Hugo Gilden, who was a 19th century Finland and Swedish astronomer, primarily known for work in celestial mechanics. Now we've tried shooting at the location, it doesn't react, we've also not been able to decipher any messages that might be contained in the flashes yet, so they are currently a clue waiting to be fully solved. Then we have the QR code on the Holto sticker that comes with the M11 gun skin. This code originally took us to this mysterious website with a flashing red dot that looked like it was in standby mode waiting to be switched on. And when the new lore video was added to the game, the site has changed to this chaotic jumble of glitches, which the Easter egg hunters in the community have discovered includes the message, we are CNS. The acronym CNS has appeared in other hidden messages within trailers, and Rob Brunison gave us a confirmation that we were on the right path with it potentially standing for central nervous system of the internet or servers or something metaphorical like that. Whatever its exact meaning, it's clearly a key part of the game's lore and easter eggs. Recently I found this number 783 attached to three of the trees in the practice range and apparently all trees in the game that look like this have it as well. We have currently no idea what this might mean. The roulette wheel skin for the heavy's Lewis gun has some oddities about its wheel. Despite being related to the Las Vegas map, the gun's roulette wheel appears to be modelled on a European version of a roulette wheel which has one zero. Those in the US have a zero and a double zero. The number 26 is also missing on the wheel and the number 31 has been replaced with a second number 13. You might not know this but the numbers on a roulette wheel usually add up to 666 which happens to be a number we've seen pop up a lot amongst clues in the ongoing alternate reality game we've been working on in the discord but on this wheel the numbers add up to 622 instead what that means we do not know yet and last but not least five roses lie near the park bench in the practice range you can pick these up and throw them at objects to break them just like any other item you can pick up but they've been here i think since the open beta when this was mentioned again a few weeks ago in the easter egg channel of the finals discord rob brunison replied by saying you can for a reason but it will not help you solving the big easter egg hunt and then recently when we were reminiscing about the megalodon easter egg in battlefield 4 which rob was 
involved with, Rob commented, Megalodon was many years ago, just imagine what we can do today, with a rose after it. And when Discord member iMac132 replied with the roses, Rob gave his usual confirmation that we are on the right path with the eyes emoji. So it's highly likely that there's a major Easter egg waiting to be solved that involves the five roses in the practice range. I've already spent about a day trying to figure out any interactions with the roses in the range, but haven't uncovered anything yet. So jump in there and see what you can discover with them. Speaking of the practice range, there's currently a hilarious exploit in there, which I've recorded footage of, but I've heard it's going to be patched soon. So I'm going to wait until that's done before showing you in another video, as I'm pretty sure the developers won't want everyone doing it. So there are a few things to puzzle about in the finals now, and the game is slowly leaking us more lore, while the Easter eggs rob us of more and more time. Come and join us in the Easter egg channel of the Discord if you want to join the hunt. I'll make sure to keep you updated on all the new Easter eggs as they're found. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Do the usual YouTube business if you want to see more videos from me from now on. Give a like or comment as you see fit, and enjoy the rest of your day. Kia kaha. Stay strong. Everybody knows the world ain't right Down on your knees Get up and fight